Hey you guys in American Review. This is the first time I bent down to Cousin Ale Works. I wound up getting a little sample pack that they have there, a little four pack. Uh, their food menu wasn't much, they are just getting started. Uh, I think they opened up uh, in April or whatever, opened up the business. So, they're still pretty new. And uh, so far it's pretty good there. I mean, the beers that I've had only two of them so far, which is the habanero one and the uh, smoking musket stout. Uh, they're more drinkable than some of the different beers that I've tried or some of the oddities that I've tried at stores. Even some of the main brands, the, the way the flavors sit and how smooth they are to drink uh, versus some of the main name brands that you would have. Uh, they have uh, some little, little games that you might play there. They have a basically a tower of uh, I think it is two by fours or uh, something like that. Either way, there are a bunch of wooden blocks that are physically cut instead of a. Uh, it's pretty. They call it drunken jingo, which looks like it'd be kind of funny to play. And then they have a uh, of course cornhole and some of the other little games there. And they have a lot of patriotic themed stuff all over the walls and everything. Uh, anywhere from uh, some old. Uh, percussion cap or flintlock uh, guns up there to some of the revolutionary information like where some of the wars took place uh, during the revolution to some of the arms that were used during that time excuse me uh, and things like that and uh, it's a pretty neat little little uh, small business and hopefully they can uh, grow and uh, maybe branch out and get a few more businesses going on uh, be kind of neat. So, but so far, out of the two that I've had, the smoking musket stout and the uh, habanero one that they have there, they are pretty good. Uh, the habanero one doesn't have much alcohol. It's only, I think it was 4.2 percent. For those of you that care to get drunk, me, I don't care to get drunk. It's not really my forte. I just want to know what the different ones taste like and find ones that I may enjoy to drink from time to time for little social drinking with people and stuff like that uh, but in general it's really not my interest to get drunk it never really helps anything so uh, either way an American interview uh, cousin ale works really neat small business like their patriotic theme uh, they're just getting started, so they're they're pretty much just got their, their groundwork going and everything, and they seem to have a nice little flow going there uh, of some healthy healthy customers coming in from time to time. Uh, give me one moment. So we got Cousin Ale Works and their business hours and stuff like that. They're over in Wappingers Falls. So, uh, little brochure, ask for a couple, I leave them at work. Some of the guys like to go out and uh, drink a few things every once in a while. Of course, I don't like to drink alcohol and drive, but in order to wash down the, the sandwich that I had, I did order the habanero and a glass, and that was like the, the lightest thing they had, drank that. I uh, didn't order any more alcohol then course because alcohol and driving just it ain't smart I've seen what happens with uh, what happened with my mother and my father and they've just gotten themselves into trouble wreck cars almost killed people it's take out telephone poles and things like that it's just stupid uh, it just it ain't it ain't worth it especially I only got one truck I can't afford another vehicle I also don't want to ever take anyone's life with the vehicle I don't want to take anyone's life with anything uh, innocent human life is too precious for that, so, either way, uh, back to this, uh, so it's kind of neat in general, they, uh, they use, uh, on here they say, we are a small batch New York State farm brewery, all of our ales are brewed using only the finest quality, 100% New York State ingredients, 
We love to work with local farmers to create a true taste of New York from the farmer's fields directly to your pint glass. The, uh, the cans they give you are in pint, pint size as well. They are a little pricey for a four pack. You get like $16, $16 for a four pack, but uh, still better than going over to the Quattro's and paying like that $12 I did for that one beer once. The nasty thing that was. Uh, I think I'll go to Ale Works for my little custom made specialty brews and see what those things taste like versus going over to Quattro's for that again. Though they do have good uh, good meats and stuff like that for uh, venison and uh, boar and things like that. So they're good for that. Uh, but uh, after I tried that one beer, I don't want to try it. Another one I don't want to try is Flying Dog Snakehead. They got like eight hops in there or something like that. And that is the nastiest beer I have ever tried. Some people might like it, but that just, the way it hits you is just wrong. Nasty. So... Yeah, they are at 1582 Route 9, Wappingers Falls, New York. Their website is www.cousinaleworks.com. Phone number 845-293-2739. Beer, food, music, fun. And they have some nice little games to play. They don't have horseshoes in there, of course. Who wants to be throwing a big steel thing in, indoors? But they got cornhole. They got the uh, giant version of checkers. Or uh, what's that other one where you line up the... I forget what they call it. They get, you line up the four little circles. I haven't played that thing since I was a kid, so I forget what they call it. Uh, but you got the little thing where you drop them in. You line up four colors of the same, whatever the heck it's called. But uh, I got some photos I'm going to have in here as well, so you guys can see what it looks like looks like inside. It's a neat little business. Uh, they have entrance in, uh, in the back mainly. Uh, they might have an entrance in the front, but I, I usually go to the back. Uh, I saw that when I was doing bottle returns because it's better than just throwing it in the trash. Plus, you get your five cent back. People who don't do it, they're just wasting money. Or if they give it to somebody who returns bottles for a living... Uh, that'll help out too. You don't want to be throwing your bottles and your cans in the trash. It's just irresponsible. You know, I also have a hunting channel, and you know, conservation is a responsible use of natural resources. So it all helps out. So either way, American review, comment, rate, subscribe. Thank you, y'all. Bye.